Hey fellow collectors, today we'll be taking a look at Masters of the Universe Revelation Prince Adam. And this is a series exclusively to Netflix, the cartoon, and you'll see it is made by Mattel. Here we have Adam with all his accessories. We turn it on the side, we see Prince Adam with the Sword of Power. And on the back we see Prince Adam calling on the powers to change into He-Man. We have a little bit of a, a read here. Let me pull it in. There you go. Okay, on the side. Oops, sorry. And on the bottom we have the uh, four figures that were released in the line this series. And we have Prince Adam. The heroic secret identity of He-Man. So that's saying that He-Man is the real person and Prince Adam is the secret identity. And not vice versa. Okay, let's get this guy out and see how cool he is. Okay, now that we have Adam out of the box, we can go ahead and take a look at the figure himself. And let's go ahead and do something before I forget, like I did on low light. I should have done him while he was in the packaging, but he does come in at 3.4 ounces for the figure himself. So I'll probably add on another ounce or two for the packaging. So we go ahead and take a look at Adam and his accessories. He does come with two fists. Laughing head. Oops. Okay, there we go. And we'll take a look at his He Man sword. You'll notice one thing the hilt here is like a sprayed, while the blade itself is smooth. Very nice detail there. And we look at the other sword, we can see it is the power sword. And it also has the same kind of paint job and the blade is, is more clear. Definitely a nice take on it. Oop. Hit my actual thing here. Okay, here we see Adam with his red vest on, the white shirt, the purple pants and the boots. So if we go ahead and take a look at Adam here, just the camera, we see this definitely blonde hair. And if I do compare with the other hair, to me, this one looks a little bit more orange. I think I have a spot paint up something oh well maybe that's why he's laughing so we can see the back of the vest um, with the wrinkles the puffy shirt and uh, his belt so if we look at articulation for this guy uh, we can see the head does go up slightly it does go left and right without a problem. His arms have a bicep swivel and can rotate all the way around. He does have a single bend at the elbow and his wrists do rotate all the way around. As for ab crunch, he doesn't really have one. And he does have a waist swivel. His legs can do a pretty good split. He does have an upper thigh swivel with a double bend at the knee his boot does rotate around at the top and his ankle is also on a ball joint so it gets pretty good movement now as far as height goes for this guy let me get him all pushed back up into the height checking position 
we see that this guy is coming in at seven inches. Oh. Nice fall. Okay. So that means he will be just a little taller than Deadpool and Duke. And he'll be on the, the actual size of a uh, toy from Todd McFarland. Very, very nice. Now, let's get him compared to his secret identity. And we see He-Man here, and He-Man is on the same height range as him. He-Man's been riding Battle Cat, so he's kind of stuck in a split leg pose like this. So I've been trying to just get him out of there. So word to the wise, guys, if you put him on Battle Cat, he will. So, so as you can see here, with my fingers back to back, um, they are the same height, but He-Man is definitely thicker since he is the strongest man in the universe, right? <clears throat> so, uh, you see here, I'm here with the Revelations He-Man. Now I'm going to bring in He-Man from the 2011 line. And you can see that Prince Adam is definitely taller than He-Man. He-Man comes up to his shoulders. So, thoughts on this one is definitely, yes, it's nice to have an Atom. It's nice to have an Atom that comes with a power sword that is all lit up like he's about to transform into his alter ego since he is the secret identity of He-Man. So, as always, guys, like, subscribe, and keep collecting. So one thing I wanted to add before, so this is like a postscript PS. You'll see the He-Man sword that he came with Revelations. It's just all gray. While this sword has some level of detail. So you might want to replace your He-Man sword with this sword. They are the same mold. So just FYI, yeah, this will probably be used. Till later, guys. See ya.